Israel was called a strong room, and it was well the strongest captives were kept. How come we are not standing on solidified human ways, but we are on the original floor made with bricks? It's simply because in 1974, there are some group of archaeological students who came here to dig the floor for the research. It was after digging that they discovered the floors made in bricks. Before they could touch the floor, they left some hard markings on the walls to show the level of the accumulation of the solidified human waste. And we got these white markings on the walls. The basis of the white markings, that was the level of the solidified human waste. So it makes us right to my ankle. So it's this one. Meaning a slave could stand in his own ways right up to this level, like you're standing in a river. The question then is how do they sleep? Yeah, they stood most of the time because there wasn't enough space here for that. Science tells us that if you stay in darkness for a long time, the sensitivity of your eyes increases 100,000 times, mm -hmm. meaning your eyes work more than the show that the time stresses the eyes. It is one of the reasons some of the captives went out either fully or partially blind. Mm -hmm. They're still there digging the floor. Did not take everything away. The left of some of us. So before 1974, the entire floor of this covering, meaning what we have here is not mere dust. This contains the DNA of the enslaved Africans. This is a mixture of their blood, tears, sweat, the food they ate, the dust of your feet, and anything else the captives left behind. How do I know this? The student took sample for testing, and the result proved what I just said. Any submissions? Yeah. Now we